couple of months ago, I filmed a video called 25 Ways to Simplify Your Life. Why did I do that? Because life's been stressful lately for a lot of people, all right? Well, what you guys didn't know is that I actually had a list of 50 items. So today is gonna be part two of that. But before we get started, my name is Jennifer. If you are new here, I make videos all about saving money through being frugal and implementing minimalism. I'm also documenting our journey to paying off our mortgage by the year of 2024 and ultimately being financially independent. So if any of that interests you, make sure you hit that subscribe button. Now with my videos that are a little bit longer, I like to do these rapid style. So you won't hear a whole lot of conversation because you guys are super intelligent. You can figure out the gist of it all on your own. Number one is to clean as you go. You are going to be a whole lot more stressed and a whole lot less likely to do the work if you go into a room and it is cluttered with things. You're probably gonna turn around and go back out. If you clean as you go, there's obviously a lot less to do. Number two is do the hardest, least enjoyable task first. This can be any time in your life, whether it's a household task or a task at work. We have all heard about the studies about throughout the day, your attention span and your energy just kind of goes, goes, goes. Obviously you have the most when you are first fresh in the morning. So I know you may not want to do the worst task, but do that worst task first. Then the rest of the day is going to be a breeze. And what I've also found is that the worst task ends up being not as bad as we thought or as we made it up to be in our heads. Number three is to clear off your desk at the end of the day. Now you may not have finished with everything that you had to do if you have a desk. If you don't have a desk, obviously this doesn't apply to you, but move on to the next thing. Clear off your desk at the end of the day. If you haven't finished that pile of papers, that's okay. Maybe take that pile of papers at the end of the day, like, like check, set a timer like 15 minutes and straighten up your desk and take that pile of papers and put it from most important to last and least importance and put it in a nice clean stack. It's just gonna, the next day when you come in, you're already gonna be set up for success and ready to go. Number five, stop judging others. Stop wasting your time judging others. If they're judging you, let them judge because obviously they're probably wrong. Don't worry about it. Stop judging others and move on. Number five, I have mentioned this so many times. I am almost as blue in the face as my shirt. Meal plan, people. Meal plan. Coming home at the end of a long, stressful day, it is no fun to sit there and wonder what everybody wants for dinner or what you have in your fridge that you can make and realize when you're making whatever you decided that you're missing one ingredient. If you have meal planned, then you have prepped the week before at least. I recommend meal planning monthly and I'll put my uh, video up here on that. But if you have meal planned, then you already know, you've got the ingredients in there. Everybody in the household knows what's gonna uh, be made. And if the spouse gets home before you do, then they can go ahead and get started. Number six, shake off negative thoughts. Now, I don't know how like accurate this is. This is just based on my memory of somebody saying this, but they talk about geese. Whenever geese get, what does geese have to do with this, Jennifer? Just Bear with me for a second, you know me. So geese, when geese get into fights, they get into a fight and then they walk away. And if I remember, if I remember this correctly, they shake off their feathers like or their, their wings like this. And then they're like, chill. They're like, whatever, great, it's fine. Let's go see what we can get into. We need to do more of that. So when we maybe have a, get a phone call that upsets us or we run into a coworker that upsets us or we hear news that upsets us. I've actually done this and people think I'm weird, but after I heard that, I've, I've literally sat there and I've gone <sighs> to shake off the energy. I typically do it when nobody's around because they would think I was losing my mind or possibly having a seizure. Number seven is to keep horizontal surfaces clear. Countertops, desks, all surfaces, dressers, uh, kitchen, uh, not kitchen, but bathroom countertops, keep them clear. There have plen been plenty of studies which have shown that um, having these clear surfaces eases the mind. If the, you come in and you see a whole bunch of dishes sitting on uh, your counter that are just drying, that 
it's, it stresses you out. So do your best to keep surfaces clear. And when I say simplifying life, I mainly mean, you know, removing the stress, removing uh, the over analyzing, the overdoing that we are doing in today's society and just simplifying your life so that you can enjoy the people and the things that you love the most. Number nine, if at all possible, do not take on debt. Debt equals stress equals no freedom. Number 10 is to make a rule with yourself, a no phone rule, meaning for the first one hour when you wake up and for the last one hour before you go to bed, you do not use your phone. Number 11, reduce home decor. Increased home decor equals increased cleaning, which equals increased time doing something that is no fun, unless you like to clean. Cleaner surfaces are just known to bring more peace into your life. Number 12 is to have alone time. Everybody needs time to sit with themselves, to regroup, to refocus. You need alone time. Figure out when it is and let everybody else know, nope, it's me time. Don't bother me. You know how about the whole thing about moms go to the bathroom just to get away? Well, you know, one thing that I used to do to my parents is coming back and happening to me too. I used to sit, unfortunately for my parents, underneath the bathroom door, there was a large gap. So I would literally lay on the floor and with an eyeball go, hey, what are you doing? Did I really not know what they were doing in there? Number 13 is to reduce or remove social media. I removed, I think, one app back in 2019 that I've never put back on my phone and I actually got rid of another social media account um, on another provider in December and it's the best thing I ever did. No, I don't know what's going on with the five people I'm still connected with that I went to high school, but do I really need to know? Probably not. There was way more negativity on these sites than positivity. So I removed all of that from my life and I've never been happier. Number 14 is to simplify your wardrobe. You don't have to all just wear one color. Just simplify it. Have the pieces that you love that all go together, not the weird one red blouse that you can only wear at Christmas time because it doesn't match anything else in your closet. Simplify your wardrobe so that it takes you a whole lot less time to pick out a piece of clothing or a outfit in the morning that fits, that looks good, that you know you feel confident in. Number 15, be boring. It's okay. If somebody wants to tell you that you're boring, let them tell you you're boring. Okay, that's fine. I don't care what you think if I'm boring or not. If I am enjoying and loving my life and I actually sit still for a certain amount of time, I have a feeling that at the end of my life, I'm probably gonna say I had a better one than the person that didn't think their life was boring and was constantly doing something. Number 16 is to ask for help. I regret this one so much or not doing this so much back when I first had my baby because I was I had an infertility journey that lasted five years. I just wanted to do everything myself and after I had my daughter I had a lot of I had a major thyroid issue where I had like a rash it was a long story a rash all over my body my thyroid was attacking something and it was just it was bloody itchy meaning you wanted to scratch your skin off but I still didn't ask for help we have to stop thinking that people don't want to help because so many people are willing to help if you need help no matter what it is ask just do it number 17 read motivating books my life changed because of one book the first book that I ever read that was motivating, that wasn't just some random fiction stuff, and it was The Five Second Rule by Mel Robbins. It changed my life. Now, it doesn't have to be that book. It could be any book. But when I began um, the learning more as an adult, my life opened up to so many more possibilities. Number 18 is to reduce your commitments don't always have to be going and doing something because 
you're probably going to start resenting some of those, whether it's kids' activities or clubs that you are enjoying up and, or, you know, boards that you're on. Reduce your commitments. If you are feeling stressed or not enjoying something, then hand it off. If you don't enjoy being on some sort of a board or a committee, then probably the people around you don't want you there either because you're bringing that negative energy. Number 19 is to set an adult TV time limit. If you are still in the TV watching addiction, which I can't, um, I cannot, <laughs> I cannot still comprehend how much TV I used to watch prior to having a child and realizing how little TV I watch now and how much more productive I am. But if you're still in that boat of watching a ton of TV and you just feel like you don't have a time to do anything else, meaning you're always like, well, I don't have time. Well, maybe you should stop watching all those Netflix series over and over again, huh? Do the same thing that you would for your child. Set a time limit, put a timer on the microwave. I can watch it for one hour and then you're done. I mean, why not? Number 20 is to change to paperless billing. Now you have to make sure you're disciplined in this, meaning you check your email um, or you have a calendar. Like I have my budgeting calendar method. I know when things are due. I know when the utility bill comes in. And I always make sure when the utility, the date that I have for uh, my utility bill is the date that it comes in. Not the date that it's due, the date that it comes in. Cause that's when it needs to get paid so that it's not late. Number 21 is clean out your car. Number one, if you, I think it's if you reduce every 100 pounds in your car, you reduce the amount of gas used by I think like 1% or something like that, you're gonna save some money. Number two, you're gonna be a whole lot less stressed than if you've got 50 coffee cups in the back seat. Number 22, say no. Ready? No. Just say no. 23, eat at home. Just eat at home. Learn to love eating at home. If you need to get some more recipes to try, if you need to spend a little bit more money at the grocery store, you're gonna save money in the long run and I can assure you that eating out, even if you go to sit down restaurants, you, the amount of extra calories and fat and crap that you're putting in your body is not making you actually physically feel better. Number 24, make a budget. There is a power in making a budget. There is a power when you start taking over control of your expenses. Even if you're single, okay people? Even if you're single on a fixed income, make a budget. I now find it fun. You might find it enjoyable. What people t typically see is when they make a budget, it feels like they get a raise because they find money and they find it's, it's a boat with the leaking, the leaking uh, holes in it. You know, you find the holes and you can patch them. Number 25 is to DIY, experiment, make things. You may realize that you have an untapped skill or hobby or just something that you didn't know you would be good at that is now fun and enjoyable and something you can fill your time with for those activities you said no to. So I hope you enjoyed this video of 25 more things that you can do to simplify your life. Tell me what you guys have done to simplify your life down in the comments. I love to read them. If you enjoyed this video, do not forget to hit the like button and make sure you subscribe to my channel. I would love to have you back for more videos.